Good morning everyone. It is 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm just waiting in the Shamshabad airport in Hyderabad. About to board the flight to deliver a live lecture at Mumbai. The life had been uh, habituated to fly around the country to teach students for their MD entrance preparation. But now the times have changed. Students can sit in the home and they can be able to watch a online live video broadcast. So waiting for the flight, I just felt, uh, why don't I come up with the idea of five MCQs every day that you are going to definitely see in the NEAT PG. After all, the subject is enormous, but unless we have a focus, we can't be able to do the complete revision in the limited time which is available. So for today I am going to give you the five damn sure questions which are going to come in the tomorrow's exam. Tram track appearance due to the GVM splitting. It is caused by the mesangial ingrowth. This kind of a feature where do you see in which type of glomerular nephritis? I know what is your guess. MPGM type 1 or is it MPGM type 2? So we should remember MPGM is characterized by subendothelial deposits. In type 1 on light microscopy we find tram track appearance and in the type 2 on electron microscopy there are dense deposits and type 1 is associated with HBV, HCV and type 2 is associated with C3 nephritic factor. So these are the things crisply you need to know about uh, the MPGM. So that's the reason I like to tell all of you and remind you revise glomerulonephritis today. It is going to come in the tomorrow's NEED PG exam. Now the second question. The most common renal malignancy of the early childhood between the age 2 to 4. What are the most likely possibility? Is it neuroblastoma or Wilms tumor? I know what is your answer. It is the Wilms tumor. The most common renal malignancy in the age group of 2 to 4 and it contains the glomerular structures which are embryonic. It presents like a palpable flank mass and it is a chromosome 11 that you are not going to forget. And Wagger complex, Wilms tumor, Enridia, genitourinary malformations and uh, the mental motor retardation. Now my next question. Pre-renal failure, what is the most important characteristic feature? So this another question which is going to come in the tomorrow's exam, pre-renal versus renal versus post-renal. So when the fractional excretion of the sodium is less than 1%, that means tubules are working. And after all the renal failure and the azotemia which you are seeing is because of uh, the decreased afferent arteriolar blood flow. So that's the reason it is the differentiating factor. So let me remind you doc. Revise pre-renal versus intrinsic renal versus post-renal failure today itself for your need PG exam tomorrow. The next question is partial mole. How do you differentiate it from that of the complete mole? 69 triplex karyotype. Is it going to be the differentiator? Definitely. And HCG will be more elevated in the complete mole. Uterine size is increased in complete mole and Malignant transformation of the molar pregnancy is more with the complete mole. And you are not going to forget, for my sake, to revise the molar pregnancy today. One of the 500 topics which is going to be there in the NEED PG tomorrow. Now the next question. Menorrhagia, dysmenorrhea, dysperonia, infertility. But the uterus is normal sized. Then what is your diagnosis? A similar clinical presentation with an enlarged uterus. What is your diagnosis? So you are going to remember endometriosis typically lead to chocolate cysts and severe menstrual related pain. Treatment is damsel but the uterus size is normal is what you are going to remember. <coughs> so you are going to revise endometriosis and adenomyosis which is one of the 500 most high yield topics for the neat PG. So that is where I am going to help you out every day with five new definitely going to come topics. Now the question comes how to devise them? Just go to onlinembbs.com, click on watch online video class and in that 
use your username password and simply you will be logging in to the live classroom whenever we don't deliver the live classroom it will be in the offline mode but here you have the video library in the video library you can very easily navigate simply go to MD entrance prep once you go to the MD entrance prep you have MCQ discussion of 250 hours and theory discussion of 350 hours simply click on MCQ discussion in that you are having the surgery medicine guide apps available here simply go to surgery medicine guide apps and in that go to medicine and in the medicine you have the nephrology which is available here if you go to the nephrology if you click on the nephrology then you have around six hours of lecture which will talk about glomerular nephritis acute tubular necrosis interstitial nephritis renal tubular acidosis everything topic wise organized with mcq discussion just you need to go back and revise the must the should the definite topics which are going to come in the exam similarly in the gynaps if you click on the gynaps you are having nearly around 28 hours of lecture of about 900 mcqs discussed topic wise in that you will find the molar pregnancy everything you can also chat with the other friends who are also accessing the online video library and in addition to that whenever we conduct a live discussion then you can simply sit in the home you can simply sit in the home and you can be able to access the online live interactive discussion which is being broadcasted it is the same technology which is being used by the television broadcast companies around one and a half lakh viewers from their home if they watch on the laptop now let us talk then about they can be able to uh, still enjoy medicine. the class so this is how the technology is going to make you sit in the home and watch the lecture the watch the lecture video and uh, revise your topics that is going to be the ultimate goal so i wish you all good luck friends every day we will meet with five new topics and ultimately the secret of winning the neat pg is only mastering those 500 most high yield topics i'm always a fan who is ready to wait to help you anytime you can give me a call and uh, we will clear your doubts thank you